This book is being read with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. Hello, my jolly reading friends. It's Ani. Thank you for coming to read with me. Are you ready for a fun Christmas story? What do you think might happen if you took a little furry friend to the theater? Let's find out as we read If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Let's just subscribe for Ami's house. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies, written by Laura Numeroff. Illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. When you give him the popcorn, He'll want to string it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. You'll have to buy him one. On the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then he'll need a carrot for a nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort. He'll ask you to help him. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. <laughs> Playing outside will make him cold. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. He'll ask you for a blanket. Once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. You'll have to find some on the radio. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to make ornaments. You'll get him some paper and glue. He'll ask you for glitter. When the ornaments are done, he'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back to look at the tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. <gasps> so he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are, when you give him the popcorn, he'll want you to take him to the movies. Would you take a mouse to the movies? And what movie would you take him to see? I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.